GDPR is two years old. Can you believe it? Happy birthday, GDPR. It even has a younger sibling now, the California Consumer Protection Act. GDPR was all about protecting privacy. So two years on, how is it done protecting our privacy? What's been good and what's been not so good about GDPR? Let's start with the not so good. Cookies. Websites use cookies. We get it. And sometimes those cookies track personal information. However, those banners that you see everywhere, I'm not sure they're adding to our privacy. Uh, I think at this point they've become more noise than signal, and that means that they're not really doing their job. I think the intent was good, but the execution left a little bit to be desired. And now for the good. And I think this is really good. Understanding where PII, personally identifiable information, is stored in an environment is really important. I know it's in there somewhere. Is it in a file cabinet? Is it in the cloud? Is it on a file server? Perhaps it's with a partner, a sub-processing entity. If you don't know where that data is, you can't manage it appropriately. You can't protect it, you can't remove it, and you can't manage it and handle the whole data lifecycle. So with GDPR, I think it's really done a good job helping us improve our data hygiene. And that's great not just for PII, but for all kinds of data.